Hey everybody, Big Miss, Mini Miss, Mr. Branch Outdoors, and we are at the Atlanta Fly Fishing Show. We're going to, day three, we're going to do a walkthrough and let you see what it's like. Morning. Morning. Man, still man in the post, buddy. It's been a long weekend for us. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see here, Stealth Craft is here. One of the skiffs. Um, a couple of boat vendors are here at the show this year, so if you didn't come this year, make sure that you look at the schedule or the other schedules that are going out through the uh, country. There's, I think, five more shows potentially uh, that they're doing there. Uh, come out and talk to the, the boat manufacturers and things of that nature. Uh, definitely a lot of art. You'll see art. You'll see stuff for trips. Hello, Raz Reed. What's up, brother? I'm doing great right here. What you we, doing? Uh, we're doing a little bit of filming there, brother. Oh, good. Man, how you been? Oh, great, man. I hadn't seen you in a year. I know. <laughs> Different fella, right? All right. Say, see you, bud. Raz right there with Farbank, Rio, all them, and Fish Pond. Good dude. Heck of a tennis player and an awesome casting person. If you want to go to the Bahamas, go to the Bahamas. Absolutely. It's pretty cool. What's up, guys? Where are you guys going fishing at? We're down south of Homa. All right, man. Louisiana. Nice, man. What's your specialty? Say again? What's your specialty? Oh, uh, we're probably fishing redfish. Black redfish. Drums, nice, nice, man. Awesome, dude. It's fantastic. Yeah, man. Appreciate you guys. Yeah, man. Yeah. What's up, everybody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right here's the bookstore, Tim Flagler. You see uh, his videos online, tight line seduction, stuff like that. Some cool art. Look at here. All these people that can draw and I can't. <laughs> right back there. Look at that. Doing great. Away at yeah. tarpon. Awesome right there. Beautiful, beautiful. Why are you filming? What are you filming? You now. Okay. See. All right. Trout routes. You can look at their app online. Find out where you want to go fish. If you want to book a trip, this is definitely the place to come. Here in this area here. It's got you covered. There we go. There's a kid. Hey, what's happening? What's up, man? How you doing? I'm tying some parrots. Parrots? Yeah, some parrots. Aren't those birds? Yeah. There we go. Cool. Yeah, they're, but they're yeah. also fish, parrot fish. Nice, man. Fantastic. Have you ever seen a Have you ever seen a parrot fish? No. 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 That's the color of a parrot fish. That's awesome. Fantastic. And that's for tarpon. Nice. They, they eat. They oh, literally nice. eat juvenile parrot fish. That's awesome. Yeah, you're probably saying, okay, this guy's really pulling my leg. No, I believe. No, you. I'm not pulling your leg. I'll yeah. show you. Yeah. I'll show you. Let's see. Hold here. on. Hold on. Be patient. Be patient. People like ask me, see, nice. parrot fish. Oh, yeah. See, beautiful. The, a, a little baby, baby parrot fish. There's a secret. The secret's There's a out, secret. people. Look, There's watch a out, secret. watch yeah. out. There you go. Go to Cuba and yeah. catch parrot fish. See, we catch fish that size at home, little trout. <laughs> not this color, though. No, no, not no quite unless you're a goldfish and you're yeah, using bread. There you go, man. Yeah. Awesome, man. Fantastic. Uh, here we go. One, two, let's go to the Bahamas. Been there. Awesome stuff. Bucktail, tires, row, here. So the point is, if you do any fly fishing, you need to come out to one of these shows, see the vendors, see all the tires that you see on YouTube, doing their kind of stuff there. If you come through, here. Yeah, yeah. Guys from native fly fishing up in West Virginia, catch cam net guys. I guess Joe Bragg's at home stocking in MFC stuff, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, doing great, man. Yeah, Got his net right there on the side. Right. Got the holster right there. Put your GoPro on there. You guys can get some cool underwater footage, which we've done before. Absolutely great. Yeah, a couple of the nets right there. That's so awesome. there we go. Yeah, yeah. Came out with that uh, about five years ago, wasn't it? Yeah. Kickstarter program, right? Yeah, yep, 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 yep. So there we go, man. Good memory. Yeah. Awesome. Every once in a while. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> I have my moments for sure, man. Awesome, man. Super, guys. What's the next show you're going to be at? 
You going anymore? Uh, we've got some local shows. We'll be at the Lancaster. All right, so Lancaster, guys, if you're looking for a net, go by and see these guys. Yep, yep. There you go. Great. Wet net outfitters there. Wet net outfitters, absolutely. Well, right. Montana done right. Always Montana like fishing Montana, right. Wyoming, Idaho. Great place to go. Look at those mama jonkers right there, folks. Yeah, we, you know, Huge. we fish stuff like this all the time. There we go. I mean, that's truthfully maybe a little small for some of our fish. Chuck and duck, man. <laughs> Wear a helmet. No, Pinch don't. your barbs, kids. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. It's awesome. Some awesome art there. Love the sign. Sign rocks. Here we go. Fish off. Ganglers, check that out right there. Who wouldn't want to catch that right there? Beautiful stuff. The thing about these shows you go to, you'll see a lot of clearance items. So if you're looking to catch a deal, you can do that as well, which is awesome. Cool logo. Like the logo. Awesome. Sims, I don't know if Manny's here today. He's probably in bed somewhere asleep. Chris asleep somewhere? Manny asleep somewhere? Or is he home? Did he? Chase Chris for you. Yep. Golden Dorado. You know, we have those here in the mountains. Not, nah, that's a joke. What do you think, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Beautiful. Those are awesome. Great artwork right there. Resins. Nice. More stealth crafts, which is cool. You know, you get to see all the different setups and things that are going on um, there, which is awesome. And then some of the, you know, a lot of super fly present here with Moonlit, uh, Dragon Tail Tinkara, things of that nature. So if you're looking to get some stuff, super has got some awesome things going on there. These guys are outfitting every fly tire here at the show. And of course, casting. You can come to these, there's several clinics you can do. You can do casting, there's demonstrations, there's tie-in classes, there's all kinds of seminars. Just make sure you don't hook the rafters or anybody else. Uh, you're not gonna do that. Winston, Bauer, things of that nature, everybody here. These are pretty cool over here. For this place to do Overland over here, it's pretty sweet. Yep, 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 yep. Mm -hmm. Peacock bass, Braden's bucket list. So the Overland stuff, this is pretty sweet. Actually you got the trout print on it right there. Got your water master up top, which is pretty awesome. So we're seeing it back home. People are actually bringing these up. They're actually doing front country camping and fishing. Um, but you know, Overland thing there is pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. I wouldn't recommend camping with it tilted, uh, but anyway, it's pretty sweet. Man. Uh, be sure to check these guys out here. Um, pretty awesome. Kind of come through here. Some of your TUs, things like that. Casting recovery. What's up, guys? Hey, how's it going? Doing great. Atlanta Fly Fishing Club is always here. Got all this going on. Pick up the pace, break. Pick up the pace, break. He's lagging behind me. Classes. Landon Meyer over here doing some fly time. This is pretty sweet. Blue Mountain Fly Fishing right here, making fishable accessible. As you can see, they've got the wheelchair in the drift boat here so people can get up, and that's awesome to do there. Great to see that. Landon Meyer back here. Let's see all the, all of the, the things, some really good deals you can get. Now this is pretty cool. Of course, we're up in Silva, North Carolina. These guys are out of Asheville. Asheville, North Carolina. They do a lot of uh, vehicle upfitting, which is pretty dang sweet. That's 
cool guys. Great yourself, young man. Very On the well. Fly magazine right there. Be sure to check those folks out. Yes, sir. You can subscribe. You guys will be able to get that QR code there on your channel. So there you go. Maybe we'll drive some traffic your way. Thank you. You never know. It. You never know. Take you. Amen to that, brother, man. Absolutely. But these are actually pretty sweet. Check this out. Pretty cool. River drift boats. These are pretty sweet. I'm really impressed with this guy right here. It's a 15 footer. Um, the floor in this is pretty awesome. It's almost like a stand up paddleboard, but it's hard. If you fished out at a raft before, you know they have the self belling floor, and you actually had the floor in it, you pump it up, but it just wasn't as sturdy. But honestly, this floor right here is just like sitting on a solid surface. You can hop in there, bro. Go ahead and show them. Just climb over. That floor does not give. You can see right there. Yeah. And it, the great thing is, you know, some of the frames would have the platform up here and you'd have to put that, which is adding weight to the boat. Um, these guys can do different configurations there for you, which is great. But here in the rowers area, you know, this one here has a nice storage box on it. And also I do like the rod storage here on the side. Uh, tucked up out of the way, that's when things getting in and out of the boat that typically happens. That's where rod breakage usually happens on a drift boat, especially on a raft. But these extend out, which is very nice. Love this. Uh, this one here actually comes with the motor mount, but they do a lot of different configurations and they'll work with you there. As you can kind of see here on the back side, see they've got some rods in here. These are probably nine footers if I had to guess, uh, which is great. I'm going to take a, get a little bit of shot right here of their stuff right there if you want any information about these guys here there you go and here is their card i'll zoom in on that right there for you there you go that's how you reach those guys right there and i think it's, it's a pretty cool boat man for sure like you like kind of like the sea deck foam on here which is nice that you typically don't see and stuff but it's, it's actually a pretty sweet rig man so be sure to check those out. Check them out if you're in the market for a boat. Obviously, there's some really good stuff out there. But yeah, that's that's pretty cool. I was impressed with that. And you see the Fly Tires Row, which you're always going to see at these shows. There's author's booths. There's things of that nature right there. It's cool, man. Awesome artwork, stuff like that. So we just wanted to give you an idea of what's at these shows. We just don't really see too many videos. See a lot about hunting. Uh, but not as much on the fishing side of things. And, you know, we've been here for three days, been here tying and things like that. And um, just wanted to bring everything to you. Of course, this is where we hang out, right here. So make sure you folks have any questions, just shoot me a line right there. Mr. Branch Outdoors at gmail.com. We appreciate you watching. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe and join the Mr. Branch Outdoor families. Until next time, folks. We'll catch you later.